Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to discuss about the switch activity in Azure Data Factory. So first we will try to understand how switch activity works in Azure Data Factory. Then we have one of the business requirements. So based on the business requirement we will try to build one data pipeline uh, based on the switch activity use case. So let us start with that. So switch activity provide the same functionality that a switch statement provide in a programming language. So in a programming language also we have a switch uh, right so in this switch what actually we try to write we try to write a multiple case statement so if any of the case statement uh, satisfied that particular output generally get returned so in this switch activity in azure data factory what actually happened so first we will try to write one expression suppose this expression is a output so based on this output you can define a multiple case statement so if the case is output if the value is output then i want to copy a data into the output folder if if the expression is a output one then i want to copy a data into the output one folder so like that you can define a multiple uh, case statement based on and you can define a multiple condition and based on that you can perform an activity so it is similar to the programming language here you can write any kind of the expression and any if the expression is satisfied based on that you can define a multiple output values so what actually we are going to do we have a one of the business requirement so let us understand the business requirement so we need to copy data into the employee or a department location based on the parameter value pass so what actually we'll do we'll try to define one parameter name as a folder name so if the folder name is if we'll pass a employee then the it should copy a data into the employee folder if we'll pass a if folder name as a department then it should copy a data into the department folder so that actually we are going to do how actually we can achieve that so let me open my azure data factory first let me show you my data sets so i have a input folder in this input folder i have a two file employee1.csv and department1.csv this file I want to copy into this employee folder and the department folder based on the parameter pass. So I'll go to the data factory. I'll click on the new pipeline. We are going to see about the switch activity. So I'll click on the switch activity. I'll just drag the switch. So it is under the iteration and the conditional. Now in this switch activity, you have to first give the name, the switch one I have given. In activity, here we have to pass the expression. So you can write any kind of the expression. So let's pass this expression through a parameter. So I'll click outside here. Click on the new. I'll give name as a folder name. So I'll click here. The expression I will pass as a folder name. So I'd click on the dynamic content and this is the parameter, right? So I'll just pass it. So if the output folder name, if the output folder name is employee, then what condition you want to write? So suppose this expression value is employee. Then I want to copy into the employee container. Employee container, I want to copy a data. So if this expression value is employee, then I want to perform one copy activity. So click on this, click on the plus, click on the copy data, copy data. Let's create a data set. So my file is available in a blob storage, so I'll select that. It is a CSV file, so I'll select that. A link service I have already created, but uh, let's create one more. And uh, we'll give the name as a blob storage. Three, you have to select the subscription. You have to select your storage account and then click on the create. So what is your input file? My input file is, uh, I will select that. My input file is employee1.csv. So I'll directly select the input, click on the OK. My source is ready. So if the value is employee, then it should pick the employee1.csv data and it should copy into the employee folder. So I'll click on the sync data set, blob storage. CSV only I want to copy. A link service. So let's use the same link service. And I want to copy into the employee container. Click on the OK and uh, delimited text to right. So go to the delimited text to uh, I want to store into the employee folder. So what I will do, I'll cr create one parameter here. Click on the new name. You can give employee 
and go to the connection the folder name you can pass this particular employee click on the ok now if you go to the pipeline it is asking the particular value so click on the add dynamic content and the folder name you can select so it will copy a data into the employee folder in employee container it will copy into the employee folder so if i'll show you uh, what we have done if i'll go to the pipeline this is the switch activity so in a switch activity we have passed one uh, folder name condition if the during runtime we will pass this value if we are passing employee one then it should copy a data into the employee folder so sub if you want to write another condition suppose if it is a department so in a storage you can see we have a department folder right so if i am passing a department folder then what actually we want to do i want to perform another activity so i'll use the same copy activity i can use the same uh, source the target also and i can pass this or here you have to create a, a new because in a if it is a department then you want to copy into the department container right so better to create a, a new data set so i'll click on the blob storage csv file a link service and i want to copy into the department container click on the okay click on the okay so delimited text go to the delimited text click on the folder so here also i want to save into the department folder so i'll create a new fo folder name as a department click on the connection directory name we will pass as a, a department click on the ok now if i'll go to the pipeline here also you can pass the value as a this particular folder name now if i'll show you the my pipeline so i have this switch statement so here what i am doing i am passing a expression if this value is employee then it should copy data into the employee container if it is a department then it should copy data into the department container there is one default value also if uh, this value is not employee in the department then uh, it will perform a default activity that is a no activity as of now so let's try to debug this so if i click on the debug you can see it is asking me the folder name so i want to copy into the employee container so i will just pass the employee now click on the okay now you should see the it should satisfy this employee container activity and it should copy a data into the employee container so let's wait it's debugging now so like that you can define a multiple activities so based on the expression if any of the activity is satisfied you can perform any of the activity so it is running now you can see copy data one it is in queue you can see it is succeed if i'll go to the storage in a employee one folder will be created as a employee you can see employee folder here employee one csv got copied if i'll show you in a department as of now no file is there now what we'll do we will try to debug again now here i will pass the department if i'll pass the department it should copy a data into the department folder so it's running it is succeed now now you will go to the storage account go to the department you can see department folder got created and this particular file got copied so as of now input file i have taken uh, employee1.csv that's why it is got copied but uh, that also you can parameterize and uh, based on the particular value you want to copy a specific folder that you can do but the overall use case is like based on the switch multiple case statement you can pass and based on that copy activity you can perform i hope you got the idea